Hi guys, today we are going to build a co-sleeper for my godson out in California. This is something you can build for about 50 bucks, excluding the mattress, which is about a 20 to 30 dollar item. You can get that on Amazon. If you guys want to see how I did it, stick around. I'm going to use the x card to cut out some templates while I'm cutting all of the stock to length. <laughs> Now I got all the parts cut to length. I am going to joint them on two faces, then I'm going to put them on the table saw and cut them to the proper width based on my cut sheet here, and then I'm going to plane them all to one and a quarter inches thick. Just wanted to take a second and let you guys know that you don't necessarily need a jointer and planer to do this project. When I designed it back in the day, I didn't have any of those tools either. I built this co-sleeper that you can see in the picture, doing all the jointing with this three and a quarter inch planer. This is a Harbor Freight one, costs about 35 bucks if you have the coupon, and you can prep the entire project using just that. I've let all the boards rest overnight. I ran them over the jointer again just to make sure I had everything perfectly square. And now we're gonna put them all through the thickness planer until we have one and a quarter inch thickness. I would like to put a taper on the bottom of the legs and to do that I just screwed a board down to my table saw sled and I'm going to hold the piece in as so, which puts it on the correct angle according to the blade to get the taper I want. Now because we already drilled the holes for the mattress location, be very careful as to what side you put these tapers on so the holes correspond to the right side.
So I've done the math here as to what is the center of my dowel pins in these boards. So these measurements are to the center of the dowel pin, so you need to keep that in mind. Obviously from one side to the other. To drill all of the dowel joinery, I'm going to use my self-centering doweling jig. And if you want to learn more about this, you can click a link up here or in the description to learn a little bit about how it works as well. But basically, you can drill from both sides of this jig, which makes everything line very well. And to keep track of everything, I have my plans printed out here, and I wrote down A and B side, and then the direction that I want to drill that in. I'm using 2P10 and activator to put some stops in between each picket to hold them steady because at the top they're not glued in place. Well, there you go, guys. A beautiful and functional crib that you guys can make for about $50. If you guys should have any questions about this build or any of the other builds that I've done, please leave them in the comments below. Hammer that thumbs up button. Helps us out a lot. Gets this video in front of more YouTube eyes. I'm DIY Tyler. You guys have a good one.